Hello children, it's Mr. Thary here. Um, as you can see, I'm actually in the kitchen and I'm doing some cooking today. I've got my chef's hat and my apron on and I'm gonna start cooking. And I'm gonna use some ingredients. I'm gonna share the ingredients with you. And I just want to, to think about, want you to think about what I'm actually gonna make. So at the end of uh, showing you all the ingredients, I want you to have a guess about what I'm going to make, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna measure out a kilogram of, I've written the label on here, I'm gonna measure out a kilogram of respect. And I think respect's a very important word, isn't it, we're learning this, this term, which is all about treating others fairly, isn't it? So I'm gonna give, um, measure out some respect, okay? That's a kilogram of that. Now I'm also going to um, put in a tube of trust, a tube of trust, okay? I'm gonna put a tin of honesty. Okay, so I'm gonna use some honesty in what I'm gonna to make today. And, oh yeah, also, yes, I remember that. I've got, a, I've got a tin here. I've got a tin of fun. That's also gonna go in as part of my ingredients today, a tin of fun. Brilliant, okay. Now, what else have I got? Let me think. Oh yes, I've got a pot of encouragement. Okay, a pot of encouragement. And then I've got a spoonful of listening. A spoonful of listening. So that's what I'm gonna put in, what I'm gonna to make today. What else have I got? Yep, yeah, um, a jar of kindness. Um, um, I'm gonna put all that in, I think. So I'm gonna put a jar of kindness into this. And, oh yeah, and a very large box of patience. A very large box of patience. Can you see that across there? Right, a couple more other things to put in. I'm gonna put in a bottle of loyalty. So I'm gonna pour that in, a bottle of loyalty. Last but not least, I'm going to put in a packet of sharing. Okay, a packet of sharing. Okay, have you guessed what I'm gonna to make today? You have, right. Well, what I'm gonna to make today with all of this ingredients, all these ingredients, I'm gonna make a good friend. So, let's just remind ourselves what makes a good friend because all those things make a really, really good friend. So, I'll start again from what I said. I started with, I started with a kilogram of respect. And remember, we talked about respect is treating others as you'd wanna be treated, treating others nicely, and treating others so that they feel important and valued. So, I'm gonna put a kilogram of respect. That really goes a long way in making a good friend. And then we talked about, didn't we? We talked about um, a can of honesty. And that's about being truthful and honest with people and telling the truth, not telling lies. That makes a good friend, isn't it? When you're honest with people. Excellent. And then we, we talked about encouragement, didn't we? Um, we had a pot of encouragement. Friendship's all about supporting each other, isn't it? So encouragement's really, really good, really useful. Um, forgiveness. We, we, had a, we had a bag of forgiveness. And that's if, if things go wrong and you fall out with your friends, sometimes it's good to say sorry and, 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 and forgive each other and move on. And that's really important, isn't it, in a friendship? Uh, we talked about patience, a box of patience. That's quite hard to explain. Patience is when, when you give somebody the time and you, you, know, you don't rush them or you, you, you know, you're, you're patient with them. And you might have brothers or sisters younger than you and, and you might get impatient with them, but it's quite not good to be patient and give them the time and let them do things with you, okay? Um, I think I talked about kindness, so we had a jar of kindness. Kindness is very simple, it's just be, be, being very kind and, and helpful, okay? Uh, we had, a, we had, a, we had, a, we had a, a bottle that I poured in of loyalty. And loyalty is a really important ingredient for a friend, isn't it? It's when you stick by them, you stick by them no matter what, and if having a bad day, you try and stick by them and cheer them up, and you make their, make their day a bit of a happier one, and you don't just not be friends with them anymore because you've fallen out with them. You, 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 you uh, try and help them and support them. That's what a good friend is. And of course, very, very importantly, we have to have a tin of fun. Um, my best friends who I've been at, you know, from primary school with, they're still good fun. We have a good laugh. It's good to make each other laugh sometimes, make me smile. That's a really good ingredient for a good friend, isn't it? And this last one is about sharing. Um, and I'm gonna read a story about this. Um, uh, today and it's about sharing and, and really sharing things and not keeping things to yourself. Okay, hopefully that's helped you understand what ingredients make 
a really, really good friend. See if you can remember those things and tell them back to your, to your teacher. See if you can remember them. See you later. I'd like to read a story to you um, to talk about how we can make a good friend and, and share things. And this story is called Sorry. So Bear and Rabbit were the best friends you can imagine. They lived in their Bear Rabbit house. They cooked their Bear Rabbit meals in their Bear Rabbit kitchen. Rabbit was better at frying mushrooms. Bear was perfect at making honey cakes. At night, they slept in their Bear Rabbit bunk bed. Rabbit slept below. Bear slept above because he was better at climbing. In summer, they lived in their tree house. Rabbit told stories to Bear because he was better at telling stories. It was a wonderful feeling being a good friend and having a good friend. One summer morning, Rabbit saw something blinking and twinkling in the sun. Look, Bear, he said. What's that down there? Bear lowered Rabbit to the ground in his basket and climbed down. Then they ran to look for the strange thing. Bear went right up close and looked into it. He had never seen a thing so shiny. Goodness, he said. It's a picture of me. Look, Rabbit, what fluffy bear ears I have. So Rabbit looked into the shiny thing. You're kidding, he said. It's a picture of me. My pretty long ears, don't you see them? You're completely wrong, said Bear, grabbing the shiny thing. These are small and round and fluffy bear ears. This is my picture. Rabbit grabbed and Bear pulled and Rabbit pushed and Bear tugged. And the two of them tore the shiny thing into two. Then they both stormed off with their own little piece. Oh, how mad Rabbit was. He strode back to Bear Rabbit House and slammed the door. Then he stuck his, the shiny thing to the wall so he could look at his picture and proudly say, Wonderful pretty long ears. Then he went to bed. What else could he do alone in Bear Rabbit House? Meanwhile, Angry Bear climbed up the treehouse and stuck his piece to the wall. He sat down on the cushion to admire himself and his round, fluffy ears. Then he looked down to the Bear Rabbit House. I could really do without such a friend, he grumbled. Evening came and night came, but Rabbit could not sleep and he wasn't angry anymore. How silly I was, he sighed. How good it would be to have Bear here with me so I could tell him a wonderful good night story. Up in the treehouse, Bear stared at the moon. He was sad and he felt lonely, just like Rabbit. What can I do to make Rabbit happy and be my friend again, he thought. Then Bear had an idea. He took his little piece of the shiny thing and climbed down the tree. Quietly, he padded to Bear Rabbit House. But Rabbit was not in bed either. He was standing outside, holding in his hand his own little piece. When he saw Bear, Rabbit walked towards him and whispered, Sorry, Bear, you can have my picture. Oh no, I'm sorry, and gave him his own. But when they got into a huddle and looked at the shiny things, what did they see? A picture of both of them. That's just perfect, said Bear and Rabbit happily. Well, thanks for listening to my story, children. I look forward to seeing you back in school very soon. Remember to be happy, be safe, look after each other and be kind. And above all, be a really, really good friend to each other. Bye.